They just recently announced, and this has nothing to do with politics, and I like to take a break from politics mm -hmm. once in a while. This is kind of a nice story. They recently announced the recipients of this year's MacArthur Genius Grants. Well, that is a very prestigious award. Yeah, the deal is they give it out to people like scientists and artists, uh, and they get a ton of money with no strings attached. And they officially get to call themselves a genius. I mean, that's pretty great for them. Uh... <laughs> Okay, that was, uh, that's our Tony, our camera guy. Uh, what's wrong, Tony? Uh, screw those guys. They snubbed me again. <laughs> I'm sorry, they snubbed you? Yeah, I don't even know why I got my hopes up anymore. I mean, I'm sorry, Tony. Why do you think you're deserving of a MacArthur Genius Grant? Because I'm a friggin' genius. <laughs> okay, you're a pretty good cameraman, but why do you think you're a genius? All right, well, for one thing, I brew my own beer at home. <laughs> All right, well... All right. Good. That's nice. All right. The crowd likes that, but Tony, a lot of people do that. Yeah, but mine's great, okay? Oh, and I also built a working cold fusion generator that gives off more energy than it consumes. <laughs> it defies physics and provides unlimited green energy. Yeah, so. What the hell? How'd you do that? Oh, well, the key is good ingredients, right? You gotta start with the best hops. I get mine from No, Oregon. no, no, Tony! <laughs> I'm not talking about the beer, I'm talking, did you really invent a cold fusion generator? I don't know, you know, you watch enough YouTube videos, you get some pretty cool ideas. <laughs> cool ideas, if you really built a cold fusion generator, you've basically solved the planet's energy crisis and changed history. Now, what I solved was how to make an IPA that's balanced in both its citrus components and piney <laughs> back notes with a crisp, hoppy finish. It's the kind of beer only a genius could make. <laughs> You hear that, you MacArthur f***s? Hey, calm down. Again, we're curious about the cold fusion generator, not the beer. Ah, uh, that thing, I don't know. I put a magnet in a microwave, then I wrapped the whole thing in a capillary shield with a mid-level cathode support jacket, set the KLF closure to 352, flipped the switch, and boom. It kind of turned into a floating, glowing orb. <laughs> now it runs my whole brewery. Yeah, but it could run the whole planet. Ah, that sounds like a hassle. Anyway, try my beer. No thanks. We're not going to try your beer. We don't. Well, I'll, need... I'll try it. We got some right here. Oh, okay. All right. Oh my God, Tony, this is really good. This is like the best beer I've ever tasted. Yeah. You are a genius. I told you, <laughs> Tony. On behalf of the Andy Richter and Melinda Gates Foundation, I'd like to give you this check for ten million dollars to be used only for making beer. Wow! Wow, what an honor, thanks! I quit. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Good luck. Mm. How do you know Melinda Gates? Doesn't matter, friends.